getting severely hailed on. Such a worse just a second ago while he was hammering the roof. We're taking cover, aren't we, boy? Look at this. Look at how big those are. A different kind of weather out this way. <laughs> ain't stopping either. here for a bit. <laughs> that is crazy. Crazy. Insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it was smashing against the roof. Harder than it is right now, like not too long ago. <laughs> it was it was kind of scary. I know some of you like to see what goes on with breakfast and stuff. I mean, to me, it's just a boring routine. But if you want to see it, here it is. <laughs> Make some, uh, I guess, hash browns, but it's just I'm gonna cut some potatoes up and then throw some eggs in, make a mix. Use my little pull out for my cooler. I'll just put my chopping board on here and use it as a table, basically. You just buy like 10 pound bags of potatoes. And I just end up cutting you know, potatoes up in the pieces to throw in there. Slice it up. Just cut it in. I don't know, we'll cut them in. <laughs> cut them in fours, I guess. I can just throw that in. So I'll just cut them in two. Throw it in the pot. Basically, like saute. Cook the potatoes. A bit of salt in. So 
Maybe I cook those until they're brown and softer. And then I'll just throw the eggs right in there and make a mix of it. Easy, uh, easy way to make a pretty hearty good breakfast anyways. It's getting to the point where I can throw the eggs in. I usually do like three eggs. Just break up the yolk a bit. Just let that uh, cook for a bit. So what I like to do is just make wraps out of it. I just kind of mush it up. Potatoes with the egg. throw some cats up on it alakazam delicious wrap you know I have bacon but you know sometimes I just don't like making it because it gets all smoky and I can make it outside but I didn't feel like it today, so just do egg and egg and potato. There we go. Breakfast. <clears throat> Let's show you the morning routine. Well, I guess I didn't show the whole thing, but usually I put my my solar panel when I'm not using it. You know, nighttime I'll throw it underneath here. Just put it on top, and then I slide it out. I usually put it inside when I'm driving and stuff, but you know, when you're staying in one spot for a while, you can just throw it out here and just ease of access to bring it back out. Um, but yeah, I set it up, obviously where the sun's gonna be coming up. Comes up here and the path of it goes up up here and then down over there so when I'm at camp I set it up and I watch as the sun goes I'll turn it you know keep putting it directly in front of the sun kind of thing so I'm just gotta hook this up Connections up there, string it back. And yeah, it's just a simple connecting the negative to positive. Another thing is, like, I always see people um, <laughs> they put their solar panels directly on their roof which to me doesn't make sense because yeah sure you're gonna be you know I guess you're gonna try and park in the sun but like if you want to be out of the sun when it's hot <laughs> you should have those solar panels off the roof where you can park under a tree or something if it's really too hot to go you know to park somewhere where there is sun you want to be able to Put your solar panel where the sun is and then you have your vehicle parked in the shade like I do right here under a tree so that's just my two cents like I think you should have it <laughs> you know so you can move your solar panel to where you need it not 
strapped to your roof and solidly and not able to move it that's just that's kind of redundant in my eyes but you know whatever <laughs> to each their own <laughs> starting to take spoon shape ish it's my first ever spoon attempt so we'll see how it works out have all the proper uh, woodworking tools to do it. I have, you know, enough stuff to be able to do it, but I don't have like the, the little hook knife to get in there and cut it out. I do have a, uh, which is good enough, like the little uh, C-shaped chisel. You just dig in there, and scoop it out basically, which, you know, works. And then you can get like a, I don't know what it's called. It's basically like you have the blade, I can't think of it right now, but you have the blade inside the little uh, wood handle thing. And they make like smaller ones where you can just, you know, kind of take little shavings out of it um, as you go. But, you know, the knife's good enough. Still, it's sharp enough to kind of take good chunks off and shape it pretty good, so. We'll see. So yeah, I'll get it down to just a rough, rough shape of the spoon, and then obviously I'll I'll sand it to smooth it out and make it nicer, basically. I'm just getting the rough shape right now. It's funny. It was <laughs> probably I don't know, maybe a half hour, an hour ago. It was just absolutely hailing like hard. Like it was smashing into my roof. I couldn't even hear myself talking. It was so loud against the roof. And the pieces were, you know, they were good sizes. Like, <laughs> it was nuts. And now it's just, you know, it was sunny just a second ago, but it just went behind the clouds again. But it's warmish again. <laughs> it's just crazy weather. Yeah, I made this hatchet handle basically turned out pretty nice like I did the same thing I used the draw knife this was like like a month and a half ago that I made this smoothed it out you know shaped it got to that shape where I can um, as soon as I find a good hatchet head like I want to find it I don't want to buy it I, I want to use the metal detector and find one I found uh she found a double axe head. I'm hoping I can clean it up. It's all rusty. I'm hoping uh, if I grind it down enough, uh, the rust will come off and I can actually reuse this. I know you're supposed to do like electrolysis and stuff on this, but I don't have that kind of stuff out here. Now it's raining again, so I might have to go back inside. It's like, go inside, come back out. Go inside, come back out. It's just the weather. The weather outside is just weather, right? <laughs> All right. Go back in. Come back out after, I think.
finally a nice day away from the away from the rain finally so we're gonna head out go to a mountain spot that I went to some time ago so it has a good view of the area and uh, might try and find this cabin, these old cabin dwellings that are out that way too. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We're just gonna go for a hike and kind of explore. Here's my path. I had a beautiful day today. Here's my path. I uh, cut in out of camp, basically. This, uh, this goes towards my water supply too. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I like to keep it clean and accessible. Cause I gotta carry that 20 liter can, which is very heavy. So the less tripping over things, the better. It's a bit of a walk up from the clear cut here easy going down but then you got to come back up the hill with the water so it gives you gets you a good workout anyways nice bush workout but yeah so my water source is down the hill there um, and then yeah coming back up it's kind of a chore with the deadfall and everything but that's bush life that's off-grid life that's the life i love so i'll do it but yeah we're not going to get water today we're going exploring and uh like i said i'm going to try and get to this mountain spot we went to last time as a wicked view of everything basically so yeah Onward. Out in this beautiful thick woods right now. That's what it looks like before it's clear cut. Beautiful, lively forest. Beautiful sun in the background, finally. Good day to explore. I think I saw, uh, I want to say it might have been a wolf, but it could have been a fox when I was in here last time. I had a really crappy phone back in the day and a really crappy camera on it, so. We stayed back and I kind of zoomed in on it to try and see what it was, but couldn't tell with my junk phone camera. Yeah, somebody's excited to be out here. Sounds like we're coming up on a stream. A little creek or something. Oh. oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Start 
Parks keeps booking it down there to get some water. <laughs> I think, I think the peak was up here. So I remember this old logging road here, if you can see that. And I could have sworn we went up it a little bit, then we beelined it straight up. So I think we'll go up here. Just always has energy. was it it's in the right vicinity anyways pretty sure we might have went even a little further down and then straight up but I know it was this general area Beautiful area though, like it's just nice grass growing everywhere and just a very grassy grassy wooded area. It's very magical like <laughs> that's the right word. see if they logged all this all this would just be dead it would just be a barren wasteland like all the other clear cut areas so I really hope they don't log this area it's too beautiful it's got that like meadow feel to it anyways yeah I think straight up here this is this peak with a beautiful view of the surrounding area so continue up and see if see if we're in the right area there's a fairly big sized tree for this area everything's been logged so Coming across too many big old old trees. It's just these little second growth, I guess, trees. This one's fairly big. Old girl. Looks like the woodpecker's been getting at it. He's going for some grubs. Yeah, 
yeah, it's definitely heating up. It's funny how when the clouds are covering that sun, how cold it is up here. But once that sun's out, it's quite hot. Oh. There's another fairly big old tree right there. view there they're actually uh can't see it i can hear it right now but they're around the hill there they're uh open pit mining right now a lot of a lot of mining activity history in this area so yeah it starts to cool off he's overheating so I'll give him some water here cool down in the shade yeah I think this is it there um, that's the state Washington over that way border runs basically basically where the hill is there actually might be just below the hill there border runs right along here Washington Washington BC this other side down there might be uh, that might be Boundary Falls I'm guessing yeah, so I think over there I'm pretty sure that's Boundary Falls there it's kind of hard to get your bearings but <clears throat> Definitely a nice view up here. <laughs> Darsky some water here. He's huffing and puffing. Get you some water, bud.
there's a bear in a tree up there. So I think there's a bear that just climbed up a tree over there. Um, so I think there's a bear that just climbed up a tree over there. Um, I think it's right. It's right in there. I think. this way. Counter. I don't think it was. Like it shimmied up a tree. Shimmied down. I'm not sure where it is, but I, I grabbed my bear spray. I'm just kind of keeping an ear out now. Not going that way. 